It is now day two of the AC Robotics RI3D build. The team began working on an electronics box, modifying the shooter with a metal frame, finishing the conveyor belt hopper mechanism, exploring a vision system, figuring out the ball intake mechanism, and completing the single stage elevator and winch. What I'm hearing is you guys are trying to figure out a way to make it work with one robot. Yes. yes. So you guys want to all stay with one robot. Yeah, yeah. be one robot. I've been working on the conveyor belt hopper system. So what happens is that the intake will take the ball in off the floor, and then our hopper system is what delivers it up to the top of the top of the robot to where the shooting mechanism is. We have three wheels driven by a motor that that will pull the ball up. So these will be on the back of the hopper, and then on the front of the hopper will just be a sheet of acrylic that will hold the ball hold the ball in place. As well with this is that we'll we can pick up several balls at once and hold them in the hopper and then once we get into position we can just turn it on as the mo with the shooting mechanism so that it can just keep delivering delivering balls to be shot in, at the target. I've been working on the ball intake mechanism. This mechanism is used to transport balls from the floor up to the hopper. We, we decided to use mechanum wheels on the roller so the balls get pushed into the middle of the robot and brought up to the hopper. We came into some challenges because of the weight of the motor on the end and all the wheels. So we decided to use pneumatics to extend the mechanism out so that it fits the restrictions of the size of the robot when we start the game. We designed the um, elevator for our group. So uh, the elevator is being used to complete the generator switch challenge. Uh, it's a single step elevator, so it's a piece of aluminum T-slot encased in steel C-channel. We also had two claws at the top of the C-channel so that we can straddle the central bar in the generator switch. We did that so that we could like try and be self-leveled to get the extra 15 points for being level if we're the only ones who can climb. We chose to do that instead of um, doing the trench, and that way we only needed a single stage uh, elevator. It was a better chance of getting more points if we climbed as opposed to moving the trench. 